my NDE happened November 1994. I was working in the forest. I was cutting down a tree. I made a miscalculation, really grave error. And five seconds before the tree fell, I knew I was going to die. I just knew. And the tree just took off and hit me on the left side of the head. And I just went flying. What I noticed is that I didn't lose consciousness. I didn't feel death. I didn't feel myself dying. I felt no pain whatsoever. I just continued to exist. All I saw was my body. And then everything just turned black. I wish I could explain that void, that blackness. I, I don't have words for it. Other NDE eaters say that it's a void. I mean, it's a total void. But at the same time, I started getting this overwhelming feeling of joy. Just, just pure, pure, pure bliss. It's just a happiness. Oh. And then, right after that, followed love. That feeling of love. A profound, profound love. It was just so vast. That was the greatest surprise in my world. I actually live on. I actually live on. I am consciousness. I live on. My body is nothing. It was nothing. It was just... In the moment, these are the words that came to me. It was just a piece of meat on the ground, and I'm sorry to put it that way, but in my form, that's all it was. I remember seeing blood was out of the wound. Like, it was just like it was oozing out and oozing out. And it's, I don't want to have anything to do with that anymore. It seemed like my consciousness was expanding and expanding and expanding. And what was opening up before me was galaxies. I'd see galaxies like pinpoints of light and each one had a different shape different size and it was just opening up and opening up and opening up and at one point it was just I was overwhelmed there was I'll say billions upon billions upon billions I saw what I'll use this term the edge of the galaxy but it's not an edge there's not a barrier there's not a defining point what I saw was just, put, I'll say potential. I don't have words. It's not something I can explain in terms of mass. It looked like light. Well, it was light and it was not light at the same time. So how do you define that? Like it was potential of creation is all I can say. I did go to what I call home. I call it home. There was a rock, and I remember sitting on that rock, and there was a woman sitting beside me. I also remember a building, a cottage. She explained to me, she said, the cottage represents your existence, your total existence. She says, every line in the wood that you see represents your path in a lifetime. And everywhere I'd look around the cottage, I could see these lines that intersecting all over the place. And oh, this is so amazing. And I said, I created this? And she says, yes, you did. Is everything ever done is represented in that cottage. And I thought, oh, this is the most amazing thing. So I did hear a voice which said, you must go back. Your time is not through. You are not done yet. There is more for you to do. You must go back. No. I didn't want to come back. No, no, I, no, I did not want to come back. And at the, at that point, I also realized because at the time I was married and I had a child and he was only two years old. And he said, "Oh, they're going to be fine. I know they're going to be. They're coming to where I am now. They're going to be fine." So. I'm not going back. So I snapped back into my body. Coming back to my form was excruciatingly painful. Uh, oh, God. Painful beyond belief because I was weightless. 
in my NDE, I was weightless. One thing that stood out so much in my NDE was that weightlessness. But I came back to my body and it was so heavy. What I experienced was ultra real. It's, it's, it's reality. And what I came back to was not real. And I was in a confused state. What I had experienced was so different than what I was expecting because I was born into a Roman Catholic family. Within the religion itself, uh, there's sin, there's judgment involved, and there's hell. I saw none of that, and I felt none of that. It was so far from my reality. I remember opening my eyes and looking around. I had the voice of a woman come through, and she said, Place your left hand on the wound. And right away, the pain just left, gone. And then I could think. My thoughts were a lot clearer. And I saw, because I was driving a tractor at the time, I saw the tractor and I said, oh, I have to get up on that tractor. I remember getting up on the tractor. I needed both hands. So I grabbed the steering wheel and I just hauled myself. And the pain of the wound was just unbearable absolutely unbearable so as soon as i sat down i placed my left hand again pain just went away and my thoughts were clear at the moment and so i did come back to the house went to the hospital i came back with uh, oh at the time i considered that a really strange phenomenon just strange abilities i saw people as tiny little galaxies it's if I focus, if I was in a receptive state, let's say, I'd see people as little galaxies, and each one of them were different. I could hear their thoughts. I'd be walking down the street, and I'd hear people's thoughts. Exact thoughts. You know, the very words that they thought, I would get them. And I'd see this in, in, in children, like right up, I'd say, to about the ages uh, between 8 and 10, is that they all had this bright, bright light in them because, well, they're fresh from the other side, from home. It's like NDEs. Why is so much um, attention focused on NDEs now? It's because we are ready for them and we are open to them and we are open to listen to what they have to teach us. My NDE is just a little sliver, a little sliver of what is out there. Every single NDE is different, but there are commonalities. There's only one creative force in the universe, and that is love. That's the only creative force there is. There is no other. Fear destroys. Love creates. Hey everyone, so I hope you enjoyed that beautiful NDE experience. If you would like to see the full unedited interview, just go over to Trisha Barker's YouTube channel. You can find it right here, just search here. And if this is your first time here and you would like to see some interviews I've done, I have a few uh, that I've done as well, so check them out. Alright, subscribe, like, all that stuff. See you guys next time. <laughs>